Today I am going to show you how to connect the VS code with the remote VM over SSH. So the data we need to connect to that remote VM is we have the SSH server up and running on the VM okay and we have this information of the machine so hostname or IP address username and the password and you can uh, skip using password you can have an SSH public key there but for to make this video simple I'm not using that I'm using the password okay so let's get started so first of all you have to have the SSH server up and running in the Linux machine okay for this demonstration video I have my VS code on my Windows machine which is a primary machine and then I have the Ubuntu Linux on uh, inside the VMware player okay so it's a VM and yeah that's just it so we have to first install the open SSH server in this machine so for that we have these two commands so first of all uh, we have sudo apt update to just make sure that we are up to date and then uh, we have this open SSH server command so you can copy this I will post it in the description open the terminal to save the time I have already installed it okay that's just it and to make sure that uh, our SSH server is up and running okay let me just zoom in okay so you can use sudo service SSH and then status and you can see my SSH service is up and running on my Ubuntu now that's it that's all you need to do to connect VS code to the VM okay now I'll be heading to the VS code now to connect to the remote machine you need to have you need to have this I will just close this earlier thing okay this is my normal VS code and then you need to have the remote SSH extension this one download it once you do that you have this icon over here or you can press Control shift P and you can use a uh, type remote SSH so you can edit the configuration file but you have to have the another extension which is this editing configuration file and I will suggest you to install these both two extensions there so that's just it and then you can press Control shift H or Control shift P and type remote SSH you can see and connect to host add new SSH host for that matters now here we need the details of the VM like IP address and all that stuff so I will just clear the screen I will say IP address you can see my IP address is this so I will just copy it and let's say I will paste it over here so this is my IP address and my username is Yogesh so the SSH connection will be some look like this Yogesh at the rate the username at the rate hostname or IP address and I will put SSH this thing and I will hit enter now it will ask me to save this configuration to some file so I will choose this configuration file you can choose any okay and you can see host is added so what, 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 what exactly it means is if I go to this PC C drive users Yogesh you can see there is dot SSH folder and inside that I have this config file if I show you this in the notepad you can see this is this is what it did I provided it that information that my hostname or IP address is this and user is this and it just created its config file in this location okay so that's just it this is the same config file now once we do that if you go this uh, uh, if you press this remote explorer icon or if you click on this you can see these other things so I've earlier connected it so you will see something like this now my host is added now if I want to connect it I can say connect in current window or new window I will say new window and then it will ask me for the password for the first time when you are doing it it will ask you for a prompt like saying fingerprint or something just hit enter so to confirm that you are uh, uh, to confirm that pop-up and then you, you will be uh, uh, it will ask you for the password so enter the password and that's just it once we are done that you can see my SSH is connected okay so if I just open terminal you can see now I can uh, use this as a my primary machine and even though my code reside in the VM 
so let me just open up one folder so I will cd to github and I will cd to docker compose something and I will say code dot when I do that it will again ask me for the password if you want to skip this you have to do it using ssh public key and you can see now th these folders actually exist in here you can see it exists over here but I'm using my primary machine VS code to communicate with that and I can continue the coding so if I do docker compose up or if I do docker images over here you can see uh, docker is not installed yet on this machine but yeah that's just it so you can actually uh, this is how you connect the VS code to the SSH remote machine in machine inside the VM so that's it for this video I'll probably put another video for uh, the communication with the SSH keys so stay tuned for that and thank for watching